Hi everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. This is where we talk about things going on in our world and get an intuitive perspective about things happening in the news. So I just got some breaking news, it looks like, online. Things that are happening regarding Russia and a paramilitary group known as the Wagner Group that has, well, it looks to be as though they've mounted a coup against the Kremlin. So I want to take a look at this intuitively. We're going to see what's going on, what's behind the scenes with this, and who will ultimately win out. And will this rebellion be crushed? Will Putin win out? What's going to take place? I'm going to take a look at this intuitively. We'll be right back. So I wrote out some questions. Here's what we're going to be taking a look at. So. Who is this Wagner group? What is their energy on an energetic level? What do we need to know about them? What is their motive? What is their goal or their objective? Have they partnered in any way or been infiltrated by the Mossad? Have they partnered in any way or been infiltrated by the CIA? What else do we need to know about this rebellion? What is the immediate future for this Wagner group? What is the outcome for this Wagner group and the outcome for Putin and Russia? All right, I'm going to get some cards out, shuffle up, and we'll be right back. I'm gonna shuffle up. We're gonna use my herbal tarot deck. So I'm gonna shuffle up these cards and we'll turn the camera around so you can see me do that. All right, so I've got my herbal tarot deck here. Let's go ahead and Shuffle this up. When I shuffle up, I like to affirm that the right and perfect cards are coming up, that this reading is protected, that if it can be known, I ask to be shown, asking for the right and perfect information to come through for these questions that I've written down. I'm going to lay out one card for each question, so it's not a specific spread, it's just we're looking at each question separately. And then we'll look at how the cards interact with each other as well. Asking for the right and perfect cards to fall in the right and perfect order. Asking for the right and perfect cards. Okay, here we go. Cut the deck. Hopefully you can see this. It might be a little tough, but all right. So the Russian Wagner group, who are they? What is their energy? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. That's a very driven energy, taking action, very action oriented. Um, a lot of mental, the swords are of the mind, so a lot of mental, a lot of communication, being in constant communication, okay. Let's see what else we get. Next card out. What do we need to know about them? This is the card of the tricky situation. Seven of Swords. That's like having to be very careful, very cautious. So it can also be very sneaky. It's also the card of the thief. Okay, what is their motive? Next card out is the Hermit. Hermit card card of introspection, card of going within, self-reflection. Interesting on that. We're going to keep going here. Next card out. Have, let's see, number four. What is their main goal or objective? This card comes out, card of risk, the five of pentacles. It's a card of caution and risk. So it's interesting with the question of what is their main goal or objective. And this, if you look at this, I, sometimes I look at the artwork, it tells me a lot. Sometimes I get intuitive messages as I look. But looking at this artwork, 
this person is sitting on the outside, it's kind of cold, and this is a card of being like being on the outside of something, an outsider. Being on the outside looking in, wanting. It's also a card of like wanting what you don't have, the Five of Pentacles. So their goal, I think, has something to do with being in want or in need of something that you don't currently have. Okay, so I'm going to move those up. All right, next card out is the Justice card. This is on the question of, have they partnered in any way or been infiltrated by the Mossad? Well, having this major arcana on that question tells me that that is likely the case. Have they been partnered with or in any way been infiltrated by the CIA? It's not a major arcana, but it is the card of getting the upper hand. Uh, as far as those two questions, I think Mossad is most likely. How, let's see, that's number six. Number seven, what else do we need to know about this rebellion? This is the card of being on defense, being on the defensive, waiting for something. So it's a defensive position. We could look at it as being on the defense and not on the offense. So they may have an uphill battle in terms of their goals. Let's see what else we have. The immediate future for this Wagner group, we have the Queen of Pentacles. That is some interesting energy with the queens being very grounded, social, st stable, I should say. But she's looking to the next card, so let me see what this is. Immediate future, the outcome. So this is interesting. We have another queen. This is the queen of cups. Interesting about this artwork, with this queen being kind of set back a little bit, and she's kind of on an island, and there's some separation noticing, noticed in this artwork. It's like, I think, the idea of becoming even more separated, or some type of strength in being separate, Interesting. All right, outcome for Putin and Russia. Now, what's interesting about this, the Six of Pentacles, I call this the give and take card. It indicates an exchange of energy. And the outcome... Hmm. I'm going to sit with this for a minute and I'll be right back. So I sat with that for a few minutes. What it feels like to me when I look at this and the question being the outcome for Putin and Russia and it's this energy of exchange and giving back, I am wondering if the ultimate outcome is what is gained by this group will need to be given back to Russia. That there is something that is going to be exchanged. There could also be some type of agreement drawn up between the, the group and Russia. But Putin's going to have some type of energy exchange back to him from this, okay? Underneath this, we have the Queen of Swords, the card of getting to the bottom of something, a card of strength, and seeing through to the truth. So I'm gonna shuffle up and take a look at some more questions, and we'll be right back. So, I wrote down a bunch more questions. This time, I'm looking at it from Vladimir Putin's point of view. So, how does Putin view this Wagner group? How do most Russians view this Wagner group? Will Putin's army defeat this group? 
Will the Wagner Group succeed in their ultimate objectives? What do we need to know about this conflict? And what is the outcome for Putin and Russia? Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle up and we'll take a look at that. Using the same deck, we're just gonna shuffle this up again, asking for the right and perfect cards to come through. And if it can be known, I ask to be shown. So these six questions that I have laid out here, asking for the right and perfect card on each question. Again, not a specific spread. We're going to look at these question by question. Asking for the right and perfect energies to come through. Thank you, God. Okay. All right. Here we go. How does Putin view this Wagner group? There's a messenger on that. Page of Wands. Pages are messengers. Interesting with this artwork. With this messenger looking toward either a sunset or a sunrise. I feel like a sense of sadness almost with this. And also like a closing of a door. Something has closed and it's like it's it there's a there's a demarcation a separation and a closed down between putin and this group it's like kind of like the saying you're dead to me now it's like this is like you cross this line and it's that's what i think is sunsetting i think that's what is meant by that when i'm pulling in with that sunset okay how do most Russians view this group? Two of Pentacles. It's a card of kind of weighing your options. Some people are probably really like not sure what they think. That's like, do we, what do we know about this? Is it this way? Is it this way? So there could be some confusion on that question. Third question. Will Putin's army defeat the Wagner group? Um, I would say so. The Tower card. That is a card of calamity, destruction at all costs. Uh, yeah, I think so. Will the Wagner group succeed in their ultimate objectives? Now, there's a messenger on this. Messengers tell us that there's more to the story, that we don't have all the pieces yet, that had we known some things, it could change the outcome. So there's, this tells me some things are in flux, but having this card, this is also the messenger of something being a little bit fishy, not above board. There's some, some weird kind of things going on. Next card. What do we need to know about this? Well, this is very interesting. Two of Wands is the card of looking at the future, seeing what's ahead, having your future and your goals in mind. This, this really does affect what happens with this will affect the future, the future of Russia, but perhaps the future of the world. As you see, this figure here is holding on to a small world there. This has a direct bearing on the future of our planet, I think. The outcome for Putin in Russia is actually very good. This is a card of nostalgia, innocence. Bringing things back into the past. I think this is going to bode well for Russia and for Vladimir Putin. I don't think this group is going to be as successful as they would like. We have this Eight of Swords. That's the card underneath. The underneath card just kind of flavors everything. There's some restriction here with this. Now I should, I should, let me move my camera here. I should put a little caveat on that. Um, when I say that Russia will be successful and this group may not be what I mean is that 
ultimate outcome and who knows when that is. So there could be some fighting, there could be some skirmishes, and just like what we're seeing in Ukraine, it's a back and forth, it seems as though, and there's lots going on, and so nothing's really cut and dry. But I do think ultimately, with that tower card, I do think the Russian army will succeed in quashing this rebellion. That's what I'm seeing. But you're welcome to comment in the comments if you see something differently or feel something differently about that. I'd love to hear what you think. So that's what I know about this. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And we'll take a look next time. This has been Intuitive Edge signing off. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.